IG Podcast. Ähm, wir haben heute Anthony Dable und äh, Jamal White hier. Wir werden heute auf Englisch reden, damit wir uns alle perfekt verständigen können. So, ja, um, yeah. let me say hi to you guys. I'm so thankful that you guys are here. Jamal White, uh, Anthony Dable, both uh, German champions. Um, you played in the NFL, mm -hmm. um, had your little stint. You were a four-year college player. Um, introduce yourself, Anthony. Yeah, my name is uh, Anthony W. Wolf. I'm married now. And uh, yeah, I'm 32. I played, I started to play football. You're 32? Yeah. I thought you were younger. No, I, I, know, I look younger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. I started to play in France. Then I went to Canada. And uh, uh, yeah, then um, I played in, in Germany. Um, Berlin Rebels, uh, New York Alliance, one championship for them, and then... How many championships do you win? Two. two. Uh, actually, three. three. Uh, Eurobowl, two. Wow. Yeah. Okay. In so 14 you and 15. Success, so you've been... I got time to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got time to catch up. Yeah. I like that. That was, yeah, it was a good time in New York Alliance. And then uh, I did put together just a highlight video. I did it myself, put it on YouTube, and then somebody saw it. Uh, his name is... Uh, Adam Dirty, actually, he is going to be this year the D-line coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Mm. And yeah, he, wow. he's from London. Okay. He, he played he played in the NFL, too. Okay. And he works at the office. Uh, I mean, at the time, he was at the NFL London so office. So no one, you had no agent. That no, nobody. You, you put together a tape yeah. and just put it out there. Yeah. That's and he crazy. Saw it, and he saw it. Yeah. That's crazy. And That's then, called grinding. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can say that. That's our motto. I like that. And the rest was history. You yep. put on it like I, I'm sure. <laughs> most impressive thing was to see a guy from Europe that you know we've played against or whatever to, to be wearing a, a New York Giant jersey or like just Atlanta Hawks. Just mm -hmm. catch you know you're in practice with Julio Jones. Like, yeah. The Falcons. Fuck, crazy. Yeah. You know. Falcons. Atlanta. Crazy. Yeah, and um, yeah, Jamal, introduce yourself. Uh, Jamal from Dallas, Texas. Um, I started when I was way younger than Dabley right here at 19. <laughs> started when I was like 10. Um, I was walking home from school, you know, just playing, running around with my boys. I saw some guys out there playing football. I've never seen it before. Um, just the contact and they're just out there just just running into each other and I was excited about it. I ran home crying to my mom about, hey, I want to play football. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. So she finally signed me up and after that it was history. I started I've been playing since I was like 11 years old. Um, I, I had to take a time away from the game probably when I was like 11 just from being crazy, just from being bad in school. And, <laughs> Talking back to the teacher, so they the, the football team didn't want me, man, and it, and it ate me up, you know. So I started back again when I was 14 years old in high school, and then that's when it took off. That's when I got crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, for people that don't know, you're probably, I mean, to me, you're the best safety I've seen in the last 10 years yeah, or me too. DB in the German league. Yeah. I mean, I think like. The bad thing about playing the GFL sometimes is only GFL people know who you are. Yeah. No one That's else. True. So yeah, no yeah, one yeah, in yeah. Germany or in the world really knows mm -hmm. us. I didn't really market myself when I got here. Yeah. Like I should have. Yeah. I just got too comfortable. Just having fun. Just. But you're balling. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was and you fun, won a yeah. championship, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah With yeah. Braunschweig. Mm -hmm. I needed one. Yeah, 2019. That was my mission, for sure. I like that. Undefeated, too, right? Mm -hmm. Never lost a game with Braunschweig. Right? Never. That's impressive. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, so we shared that, too. Yeah, 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 for sure. Something it's, in it's common. On, mm -hmm. on the ring. Put that ring. 17 there. and 0. Yeah, the ring's right here. 17 and 0. That's crazy. Different times, yep. I have one too, but mine got stolen. Y'all can see it in the picture right here. <laughs> um, yeah, mine got stolen, but um, I won one with uh, um, Patrick Kazuma in oh, yeah. 2010. That was a great, because that was my first year playing football. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and a lot of people don't know this. I started playing football really late. Yeah. I was a basketball player, and uh, yeah. I, I was at a junior college, and um, 
the coach saw me in the weight room and was like, man, come play tight end or wide receiver. I was like 220, 230. Yeah. And day one, it was already like, fuck, you have to play defense. I had no hands. Okay? <laughs> no hands. I know. <laughs> I know why you play defense, but I had no, no hands. So, yeah, so they, they put me. But it was just like they put me in special teams. They just break the veggies, and I was mm -hmm. just fucking – Killing motherfuckers. <laughs> that's, when was, yeah. that's when they knew, okay. And that's when I figured out, okay, look, I'm 6'6", six, six, and I, I just saw the tension. I was like, ooh. I got to talking to D1 schools and yeah. stuff and just mm -hmm. noticed, okay, it's different. Basketball back then, it's not like now. Back yeah. then, you were a tweener. You were mm -hmm. power forward, 6'6". Six, six, mm. You're not super, super athletic. You're not jumping 40 inch because I was a different type of – player when I was basketball to football. Mm -hmm. My athleticism came with the football yeah. because I started training different and I yeah. saw like, okay, football players staying different. Mm -hmm. I got my mentor, Reiner Zundberg, he turned me to from a 4'9 to a 4'5, mm -hmm. you know, like certain things that were in my body that I didn't know. Yeah. He got out of me, all of a sudden I started jumping over 30 inches, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, I was always dunking, mm -hmm. but when I <laughs> played football, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. getting up there, you know? so. Yeah. And even now, at this age, I'm 34, about to be 35 next month. I'm still, looking good. yeah, not even looking good. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, talking about, I'm talking about my athleticism is yeah. better than when it was 25, yeah, yeah, just yeah. because of the way I'm training. You're training. 32, you're yeah. still at a probably even better level than um, yeah. athletically than because you learn how to train. Exactly. You know, take care of your body. You you're know, just I think, more mature, and you know how to do stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's just easier and everything. And so, so what can you guys tell your 20-year-old self? If you can go back right now with 18, <sighs> what, what offers, like, what would change if with you know now and you can be 18 years old right now? My work ethic would change. Yes, yeah. well, for sure, my work ethic would change. I would go about different how I do it now, just watching film or, well, in my in my case, well, being an athlete, football, just watching film or just just training different. Yeah. You learn a lot. If we had, if I knew what YouTube had, or just if I knew what YouTube had, if I knew what an uh, app I could use to to learn how to train or something like yes. that, then I would do that. I would I would invest in that. I would tell my parents invest in that because yeah. that's what's going to get me to the next level it, it's no it's no way around it. it's no yeah. way around the grind for sure yeah. you need yeah. it yeah my work ethic would change 100 percent. get with a coach yeah um, find on one. track mm -hmm. yes Be, exactly yeah, track. go go all the time track. in the gym because I'm, I'm exactly if i don't have a season around maybe i don't go to the gym you know what i'm saying because for all the young kids that are yeah. watching this that are playing soccer or playing basketball somewhere or football or whatever you go you go to practice and you think that's all you need yeah. when you start, you know? Yeah. Like you go to yeah. practice and, yeah. oh, I'm done. Man. We yeah. had conditioning that today. That's good. Yes, uh -huh. you know? And then you start noticing there's these kids, they're different. They're just better. Mm -hmm. So you start working on your shot. You start investing a little more time. You know? yeah, but yeah, that yeah. takes so – it's such a long process if you don't have the mentors around yeah. you. If you have the right parents that are sports-orientated, like – my son is already wrestling at five six. He's yeah. gonna be all right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like I got his athletic. I already know what to do. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. gonna be dunking with twelve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but if I had a father that knew, my father was a hard working man. You yeah, know, yeah, but yeah, didn't he didn't. Time. He was no trainer or anything. So, yeah. if you had a right mentor, that's what you always like. I think back in the day, you know, when you were young, you saw those kids that were just better. They had. Like personal training, or yeah. they had that like, environment exactly. Like, the somebody environment, you know, them, yeah. We were working out and training. I don't know where you're from, but I'm from like poverty, so yeah. we used to go outside and play ball. We used to, this used to, it would just yeah. be fun. That would be our way of working at a certain level. You notice you're good at it, and you mm -hmm. want to become a pro because you see yeah. the guys, you know, Odell Beckham or whatever, yeah, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, Oh my yeah. god, I want to be like him, yeah. And then you see they're rich mm -hmm. because they're playing. Football or yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, the life it could change. Yeah. Your life can change. Yeah. So I think mostly it's just it comes down to like also like the older generation of us, yeah. like basically really taking in young kids and letting yeah. them know, look, yeah. this is what you have to do, and you can really do it. Yeah, yeah. I, when I was sixteen, I was like, I want to be a pro football or a basketball player. Mm -hmm. My 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 teacher told me that this is so unrealistic yeah. that I should really <laughs> stick to school. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And that's more realistic to have a, a great, happy life, you know, with mm -hmm. a normal job. And one day I'll have a house 
in the yard, you know, mm-hmm. like that. And mm-hmm. and but he was so wrong, you know, because yeah, yeah, I yeah. did like I went to, I got a scholarship at a one of the best JUCOs, and when I was there, they even told me that I could go to the draft mm-hmm. and get drafted at six seventh because I ran a four five three electric mm-hmm. and I benched two twenty five thirty seven times. He said, "You're gonna get a job." That's what my D line coach. Said. Well, what do you want? You want to be a, a first round pick? And play JUCO, go to D1, you know? Like, hmm. so I was like, whoa. That all because I worked my fucking ass off hmm. for like two, a year and a half just for that fucking combine. Yeah. That's what that got me, you know? And a lot of these children or young kids don't know what it takes. They see all the glamour, they see Anthony Dable made it to the, uh, to the, to the, Falcons. He's yeah. training with Julio so they need Jones, but they don't see what you're doing to get there yeah. and what you've done to like as a European that has. They, I don't think people understand how hard it is to go to the NFL without four years of college because yeah, okay. yeah. it does not matter who you are, how talented you are. If you haven't been to college for four years, you are in. You are so far back. Yeah, <laughs> so far back. You cannot even imagine yeah. it. The athleticism, lot, the training you get in college, the knowledge you the, about food, yeah. the yeah. route yeah. running coaches, yeah. the yeah. all the the stuff you learn in college. Yeah. If yeah. you're from Europe, like me, yeah. you, and you get a shot at the NFL, yeah. like yeah. that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, a lot of work. A little specimen. I mean, you're good. Yeah, but it's. I mean, I mean, I always knew I was I was gonna play sport at some point, and. Um, yeah, when uh, when I started to pick up football, um, I didn't know, I didn't speak no English. Yeah. So I watched every every single video on NFL.com slash video. That's how I learned English because mm-hmm. wow. I didn't know because you you don't speak. I mean, we you in France because I'm, fr- I'm France from France. France are uh, different anyway. Yeah, they they, they, you'd say something in English, <laughs> they'll just say something in French. Yeah. <laughs> in like you the coldest way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, do you speak English? And they'll just say some French. I'm like, and it sounded like he insulted me. I'm like, is this what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be like that. You don't speak French. Mm-hmm. Don't even talk to me. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then after watching all those videos and everything, so I basically, uh, we had coaches and everything mm-hmm. and team friends, and but I also coached myself because I, yeah, of course, I, in my first playbook, the the sentence that was the first sentence before any plays, I was. Learn from the best. Mm-hmm. So I go and I watch the Larry Fitzgerald, Andre Johnson, like all the videos that I can, right? And then we had a camp in Switzerland. And in that camp, there was uh, Paris Madison. He's American. He's now French, too. And, and we started to talk. And for 45 minutes, that was the first time I, I speak with somebody that speaks English, right? Nice. And for 45 minutes, I asked for two words. So I understood, oh. I speak I speak English now, mm-hmm. but it was the love of football that got me that got to too. learn a language, mm-hmm. you know. And and then after that, I started to watch uh, um, the draft, and I think I was in twelve or fourteen. I see uh, what's his name. I see Julio Jones, and I see that's funny because then I, I played with him. But mm-hmm. then I see uh, um, AJ Green, and they both of them six four, they ran like four 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 five, and I was like. That's you. If, yeah, I mean, and, and, and they say, yeah, good hands and everything. I was like, man, I look the same. If I can be as fast as they are and I, I've good, I can train on my hands and not drop a ball and be a pro. For me, being a pro is really like make less mistakes. Because mm-hmm. even if you get to the NFL, not everybody runs 4-3. Not everybody yeah. does this and mm-hmm. that. But like everybody, don't make, they don't make mistakes. Mental so that, errors. Yeah, no, they don't make no mistake. Yeah. I mean, even if you're a DB and you run 4-5, but... You don't make no mistake when you read and everything. Then you mm-hmm. ask fast as somebody has run four three. You're in the scheme. You're in a scheme, right? Mm-hmm. You're, you're in a scheme, and uh, and you try to be as perfect as you can in that yes. scheme. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. do you have, exactly yeah. what is asked of you. Yeah. And that's the difference of NFL football and yeah. mm-hmm. anything else. I think. Yeah, yeah it, it is. Yeah, it is. The slant isn't run at four yards. It, or it's ran at three yards. Yeah. And DBs have to know that too. You have to know your three step drop. You have to know. All that stuff. So I understand what you mean. A very, you got to pay attention to details. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, That's and, how and, it is in the league. And for sure. when you get there, and everybody is fast. Yeah. The the only way to get faster is to not make those mistakes. Mm-hmm. If you don't make those mistakes, then then you have a chance and you have an edge. And but it's it is so mm-hmm. small. But like at the same time, it is so big. Like when you see like a guy like Julio running around, mm-hmm. and he's so open. It's just mm-hmm. because 
okay, it's really explosive and everything, but he yeah, does sure. everything right. right. Yeah, yeah. And he, no he, gets, he, gets the, yeah, he gets the DB to in the wrong position, and then he looks like, oh, it's that wide open. And it's just mm-hmm. close because every window that, happens, that, that opens for us as a receiver in, in the league, it closes like right away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> So it's different. The speed is different. different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It is and it has nothing to do with them being fast. Or it just has something to do with them really being on their shit. Controlling it. Yeah, That's you, the difference of being a pro it, yeah. and an That's amateur. Yeah. Is when being you get on there, their shit. everybody is that, is that athletic. Yeah. Everybody There's no can do it. But disadvantage, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, Everyone's it's, the same. Yeah, yeah, it's not about, about it's like mental. physical ability. Mental. Yeah, it's mental. mental. Definitely. Yeah. How prepared you are is going to make you look faster. This is so matter. important for all the young people watching to understand, just to yeah. understand it's mental. Like mm-hmm. That's why I tell people all the time. It's like my best games were, were I played probably like against you guys. I have some games against mm-hmm. Brown Schweiz. Always. Some, yeah, some mm-hmm. top <laughs> games. Because <laughs> no, I was on my shit. Yeah, me like, too. Like I was yeah, so yeah. preparing. Mm-hmm. I was looking at the left tackle. I was looking at the right tackle. Yes. I was looking at all the stuff. And... Um, you prepare different, yeah, you know, yeah. and then I started realizing, okay, man, oh. So I, if you want to be great, like yeah. these you, these young guys out here, you have to do that every game. Yeah. Every game. If you want to go to that player pathway program that they yeah. do in here in Europe, mm-hmm. you have to be like that every game, like mental focus, sharpness. Every game. Yeah. And that's what, that's what I started film. to adapt. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like I started having games, like home games, like against Hamburg Huskies or whatever, yeah. and it's home, yeah. you know, so yeah. I watch tape. So – I learned all the weakness. I learned all the plays. Mm-hmm. And I trashed those guys, you know, yeah, like yeah. in front of my whole family. And I noticed, like, okay, why you don't I do that against every team every then, team. you know? Because yeah. I was excited to play for my family. I had three yeah. sacks, two sacks, every mm-hmm. fucking game against Hamburg, yeah. you know? Like, and it has nothing to do with them being trashed yeah. at that mm-hmm. moment. I, I, had, I played against way, way worse teams in the mm-hmm. GFL, and I didn't do nothing because yeah. I was like, bro, they're ass. Yeah. Yeah. They're 0 8. I'm not going to look mm-hmm. at their tape. And it, my game was just like Change, that. Yeah. Yeah. I adapted because I was mentally not ready. And yeah. that's what people, young people have to understand. Yeah. Every practice is important. Every yes. rep is important. Every rep is important. Yeah. Every time you work out, every little detail is so important yeah. for you to be that guy. Because it's so many people out there that want to make it. Yeah. So many people mm-hmm. that want your spot, yeah, you know, sure. real talk. Not even out here for America. You got to think of how many high schools out there trying to get – high school kids out there trying to get into college. You're going against another freaking mm-hmm. class, another another world, bro. It's another so many world. kids trying to go into college and get that, that spot that you want. So – and you being so far behind out here, you got to step it up and work every day. Yeah. 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 But you have the chance right now that you yeah. have, like, YouTube and everything. Yes. Because, I mean, the, there's so so much to so learn much from. And, and you so much prepare information. yourself. Like, I can only say, I always say, that there's this guy called Knees Over Toes yeah. guys that I've been following. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's just, like, all that information that mm-hmm. these, pe- these people are giving us. For free. So, for free. It's so crazy. Yeah. We didn't have that back in the day. We didn't have it. So you're telling me I'm never going to tear my ACL because I'm following knees over toe mm-hmm. guys because yeah, this yeah. guy's shit is legit, mm-hmm. you know? And there's yep. more people mm-hmm. like that out there, you know? There's more coach. Like, I've a lot of people don't know this or probably know me and um, Jamal. He's, like, he's an energy partner now. Like, he's official energy coach because I started working out with him, and I noticed, oh, man, this guy – potential out like as a coach mm-hmm. as a speed and agility coach mm-hmm. crazy drill because you notice that because like it's like with rap or with anything you know if or coaching basically mm-hmm. it's like there's creative coaches and there's yeah. non-creative coaches there's coaches a lot i see in the gfl they all they do is watch youtube yeah yeah and you can see fucking like what are you trying to teach me yeah you know like i they, saw they the same experience, fucking yeah. video yeah but yeah. then there's yeah. people like jamal or me or i don't know how you are as a coach is mm-hmm. We're creative guys. I yeah. can, I can, we can, I can set up a workout right here. For sure. A very effective workout. Mm. I don't even have to plan it. It'll yeah. just come right yeah. here. Yeah. Like a rapper that's just freestyling. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. Jamal's official part of the NG team. And um, <laughs> well, all I want to say is like, what people don't know is like Jamal <laughs> and me, like we hated each other. Mm. Right. We hated each other. Yeah, for well, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know why I know about that. Oh. No, 2016. I didn't, want, I didn't want to bring that up. 2016, that's when we met. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> we hated each other. There's no player in the GFL I've hated more the last <laughs> four years. Than Real talk. Definitely, like, definitely. We wanted to fight. The whole team had to separate us. Yeah, it was he a brawl. He was talking was to me. Yeah. At, like, I'm talking about where we were shaking hands. Like, yeah. that type. Every game. Yeah. People had to, like, separate us. People yes. get between us and shit. That's we wanted funny. to fight. And man, every, and I'm running to the sideline yeah. trying to talk to him. Trying every to talk time, mess. me too. That's crazy. Every time, and every time <laughs> we're playing him, he's balling. So I'm mad. You know, like, <laughs> like we used to, and it used to up my shit because I know he's on the sideline watching. Oh, so yeah, I got a ball. Sure. Up, you know, I'm like, watching you every yeah. play. Like, what, what, four, what is four yeah. gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. you heard me for sure. Yeah, yeah. All so the time. I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's like, and that shit grew. Like then we 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 saw each other at a late at a late first time. This is crazy. Me with my girl, him with this girl and we have that little are we gonna fight now or are we gonna shake hands this is crazy. just keep it moving you know and we yeah. just shook hands we shook and then hands. and then i was at the um I, I talked to the coaches at the elf for the berlin thunder and they started showing me the roster and i, I was like damn jamal white <laughs> I, like, Coach, I hate him i was like i hate him man this is january yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah for sure. people knew yeah. this is april right now mm-hmm. yeah. i still hated him in january mm-hmm. like, i hate him but definitely i was like coach him bringing him in yeah. i oh i would love the opportunity to play with db like that mm-hmm. you know so because at the end it doesn't matter how our relationship was. I knew he's a baller. You yeah, know? He's same a baller. Here. And you respect yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. He probably hated him because of that. Yeah. You know? So then I like I went to the I went to the work facility because we have a nice little workout facility mm-hmm. at the Otler's place. Yeah. And um, shout out to the Otler. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> big shout out. Like, hey, yeah, big shout real out. Real talk. No, big sure, shout out sure. to the Otler. Real. I love that organization. Yeah, no, for sure. and, um, helped us a lot yeah, in this, this lot. real talk situation. So. Um, yeah, um, so I was at the facility and I called coach and I was like, what's up with Jamal? You know? <laughs> he's, like, give me up there. he's like a lone guy, like I am, you know? Like I yep. would come there with my girl, mm-hmm. that's it. Like I'm, you don't only see me, my girl, that's yep. it. Don't and that's the same people. way he rolled. So I called him, I was like, what's up, my dude, you want? Yeah. Let's go. Like, Let's <laughs> work out. They I was looking like yeah. it. Yeah. All right, we can, we, can, we can try it out. Yeah. We can see what's gonna happen. Yeah. So day one, we just clicked. Yeah, we clicked. Have, you same know, people, same mentality, same, people. same. So just like that to me, right there is just like living proof that just if you're a grinder, you're a hustler, it, anything else doesn't matter because that mentality you have, we share it for. It's just always gonna like you know when I met you first. Yeah. Even what, what did my girl say the other day, mm-hmm. Anthony? Was he nice was cool. Yeah, nice as dude. He yeah. showed us so much talk. love. You know, mm-hmm. like when I talked about you the other day, my yep. girl was like, oh, Anthony. You know, because we always like, that's like certain people you just click with, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you have the same mentality. You notice, yeah. okay, I, I respect him for his craft. I respect him for his yeah. work ethic. I respect him for, you know, his mentality and mm-hmm. stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. But I will put in, I do appreciate you a lot, though, for that, Aaron, though. So, yeah, I appreciate what you've been showing me, it's been a lot. So, yeah, it's, me, gonna, it's showing me, yeah, you're you teaching me a lot, and I appreciate yeah. that. You're teaching sure. me, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're like, that's the most important thing yeah. in life, real talk. And this is really for also the young kids, because yeah. I'm talking I'm trying to get coached, too. Yeah, no, yeah. You, <laughs> no, hey, we, like, we're, we're trying, trying to get you to Berlin. Yeah, for sure. We're trying to I'm going to talk to coach. Like, right now, to for the people to know, is like me and Jamal's plan right now is. We want to work with the youth, yep. you know? This is also, like, that's why it's so important for us. This what, The message of this podcast right now is just work ethic and uh, never give up is how hard is it to play football? How hard is it to be there that you're training with Julio Jones? You're catching balls from Matt Ryan. Like, think about that. Like, you know, when, when, when did you notice that, hey, you're in the big league now? Mm-hmm. What was the first experience where you're like, fuck? These guys are good. Yeah. Um, just just the reaction that I had when I first saw Odell, because my first team was the New York Giants, and okay. Odell Beckham was there still. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it was like... The so you practice with Odell Beckham, too? All the time. I mean, mm-hmm. because I'm a receiver, every every single... Um, meeting, meeting and everything. Yep. Oh, you're only with a receiver. Yep. Would, would it be team? Would it be offense? Would it be even with the O-line, the run game? And then we when you isolate as receivers... We all the time we together and on Crazy. the field, off the field, and live. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So how, I bet he just learning. How was it though brain. for you, seeing these guys for the first time, just seeing how different their routes look? And I mean, it was just crazy because I, I say it all the time. I'm like a I'm a football fan, 
mm-hmm. that has the physical ability t- to be with the guy that I was watching that I know everything about that mm-hmm. I watch like every play you know mm-hmm. and to be there is like that was just different it was weird at the time and then you have to focus back and be like yo then you can't be a fan yes yeah, yeah, I'm here yeah. his team has to be quick yeah, yeah. 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 has to be quick and then after that then then you have to show that you can play yeah. you know Yeah, fine yeah. for a job. There's no time there, no, yeah, especially yeah, in the NFL, no, for no. nobody. No, no not a coach, not Mm-mm. water boys, nobody. NFL you stands for yeah. not for long. Yeah. And that scared me when a scout came to my college and told me that. I was like, God, yeah. you're right. And that just awesome. shook me. Not yeah, for long. I mean, for look sure. at the numbers. Average career is fucking. It's two, two years, three months. Yeah. yeah. It's two to three years, I yeah. think, yeah. right? A full career, like average career, yeah. that mm-hmm. that's scary. Scary. The topic we just broke on that you got very emotional about is um, just the the way things are set up in Germany, basically, football wise right now. I mean, I think the ELF is a great thing that could happen for any best thing that could happen for the young football players. Yeah. I'm an old player, like I'm just. I'm just here to just, you know, <laughs> I'm going to just hop in real <laughs> quick, you know, like leave my I'm mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to leave my mark. You <laughs> know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My goal is just to leave my mark, let everybody who the fuck know who, who the fuck I was. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's sure, it, sure. you know, because yeah, I didn't I get that respect from the GFL. So I never got an interview or nothing. I led, I was up in the ch- I every, you know, like yeah. dominate, but I yeah. never got. So that's the thing yeah, that's about. Weird. That's not how you, you're supposed to treat the athlete. In your yes. <laughs> I know, yeah, no, no, I know. It's. And that's why I like the new league concept. So it's really sad to see a lot of young players that play GFL football yeah. where I feel like they could have had a great collegiate career mm-hmm. that got suckered into playing GFL football. Yes. You yeah, know? And, and, and they, they didn't evolve. Cause the I mean, how many players had there? offers? Let's not go into names and details, mm-hmm. but how many people do you know and I know that had offers or could have went to college, but – their team was like, yo, we can win German championships or we can, you know, and, you know, like, for example, Tiadri, we both played for the Kiel Hurricanes, you know, like, I love Kiel. I, like, I want a championship. I want a European championship. Nice organization. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel certain things, certain teams fucked up because how big would it have been if someone from Kiel would have had, would have played at Alabama Four years would have so got weird. drafted in the first round like you would have. Yeah. Period. I don't care what you think about Tiadri. He would have got drafted in the first round pick yeah. just based off of his. I know that. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah, what yeah. he's doing in CFL first year playing fucking the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, mm-hmm. and he's fucking twenty six now. It's just those yeah. people they don't understand that, that, that that's if if you let him go, that's an investment. You don't yeah. lose nothing. Yes, no? because he's you know, going to come back. Because people are going to say, "Oh, you I mean, know, like I mean, Bijan. I mean, I mean look at uh, yeah, Bijan. Bjorn Vanner Bjorn is Bjorn the best Bjorn. example. Yeah. First yeah. round pick, Florida State. Yeah. Like nice guy. Talked to him the other day. Yeah, and like he, like, he fucking loves football. Yeah. You know, he's doing a lot for the youth too. Yeah. So yeah. like, yeah. take him, and he's like, I see him at the yeah. outlet facility. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I see him there, and uh-huh. that's big for the outlet facility. Say. Hey, we have a guy that went to college. He played in the NFL. Straight so, from here. Yeah, and he there's, from here. yeah. Exactly. There's, so, there's so many kids here that have the talent to yeah. so blossom many. to something good yeah. in college. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about NFL. I'm just talking about the opportunity to go yeah, to college right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like there's how many youth players right now, German champions and youth region could go to college? There's yeah. a lot. Just, I remember when I went, I, I did the Playmakers camp. So you'd go like, Playmakers is Bjorn, Bjorn's camp. No, that's a mm-hmm. Zürgen Wettlein. Okay, oh, Zürgen, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. we'll cut that but out. Then, but then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you go there, and there's always like a Division three, Division four teams and everything, but you have always one or two guys that be like, yo, what are you doing here? Mm-hmm. I remember like going in the South, <laughs> yeah. and there's that receiver. Bro, I saw that he went to Schwabischal and everything. I don't remember his name, but like that guy squats like, he's 18. Yeah. He squats like 200 kilos plus yeah. and everything. He runs around like, you know, It's, it's and, he, and no one, and he and doesn't no, even know himself. No, basically. And, and, and he's not coached. He's yeah. Can you imagine? Yes. That's I, I started problem. when I was 19. He's 18. He's better than me at that time, and yes. but he doesn't get no coaching mm-hmm. because they don't. They want to keep him there. Yeah, yeah. third, fourth, yeah. three. Yeah, because he's winning saying? games. Winning yes. games. When it, whenever you 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 in deep shit, you just throw the ball to him. That's it. Thank <laughs> you. No, no, and, and I've seen that. Look, me and uh, Senny, your Philly Senny Falmuku. My brother, you know, and and, and also partner, up. Yep. and amped up. Good, he did. Yeah. He we did two camps 
really short notice. But mm-hmm. there are p- kids that I see like where I was like, okay, man, these kids, like you said, are playing for some trash teams. They could have went to college. Like, yeah. That's fucking sad, you know, that they never got to know college and will never get to know it. And at this fucking, you're playing the fourth league, bro. Mm-hmm. I got one of these kids to kill just so he can, like, get out of the fucking fourth league and see, like, mm-hmm. you're actually really good. And it's like, these kids most of the time don't even know how p- much potential they have themselves they because have these around trash them tr- yeah. coaches, yeah. They need to know that. you know, that yeah. don't know nothing and never played football mm-hmm. at any level. Are telling them come here, stay here in the fifth league, mm-hmm. stay in the fourth league. Yeah. You're a star. You're, you know, and so sad. Get out yeah. of there, man. Get out of there for sure. So that's why this <laughs> is the next topic is like so important for me, for people to know me and Jamal. We're doing we're our what we're working on right now is we're trying to get the youth mm-hmm. in Germany mm-hmm. athletic. We're trying to teach them how to eat. Mm-hmm. We're trying to teach them how to think mm-hmm. the right way. Yeah. You know how to. The mistakes we did yeah, yeah. for he's so to, to be a he's a, he should be yeah. in the NFL right now. Yeah, for sure. You know, but we all made our little mistakes mm-hmm. that led to us being where we are at mm-hmm. right now. Thanks. You understand? Like, so if it's even not knowing, you know, I mean, it's not your fault, but we didn't yeah, know. Still. You understand? But we, we still mm-hmm. we still had the God given gifts yes. <laughs> to be a first round pick <laughs> at the end of the day. So we did, all of us for and sure. yes, mm-hmm. so like us. Knowing that is like for us, like we can't sit around and just let the yeah. young kids just play football here, yeah. waste their time, and you're not knowing too, so. also Always what talent. damages. What what? Let me know. How do you feel after a football game? For the kids to know, <sighs> yeah, um, how dangerous is football too? It is. It is dangerous. Like, I love you football. Heat, you know, but I, I love it. I love it too. But then the the day the. The day after the game, the way yeah. you feel, like you just I think I gave, I, up, like, oh. I think I gave Babley a couple. I think I gave Babley a couple hits last year. <laughs> I was looking forward to that, by the way. So yeah. it was, yeah. a, hey, it was an honor to play against oh, them, though, yeah, for yeah, sure. Bro. That turned me hey, up so much, though. Me yeah, too. It turned me, me up too. so much. Playing against the these playing guys, playing against those guys, yeah. that game, always. Yes, that was the most exciting. We game. Had, yeah, Hildesheim, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hildesheim versus New Yorker. Yeah, yeah. exciting was, game. Yeah. That yeah, was weird for me to be on the other side. I know. I know. Normally, like, I'm, I'm making My, how the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I said that to Casey. That was so funny. Because he used to kick my ass when he played for New Yorker, mm-hmm. man, when I played for yes, the Rebels. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It was just too easy for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Godly, he was just throwing it, throwing it, throwing it. I'm looking over my head like, God. <laughs> so, yeah, just I told him that. Game, yeah, man. So, I told him that. But. Nah, yeah, but it's, it's funny important. that you talk about the youth, though, because I, I talk to my wife all the time, and every time somebody asks me about, like, what would you do, what would you change, I just want to, just, like, from my experience, there's so many things that I learned once I was already in the NFL mm-hmm. that if I learned that before, I just talked to Jamal before. Yep. If I if I knew that before, I'd probably still be in the league. Yeah. Yeah. So my my main goal is for, even, even, even if I get just one, one kid to do better than me, Exactly. I will have succeeded. Hey, that's you know what, what I always, that's the, exactly what I say is like if yeah. we get one out of 10,000 kids to just think better than we did mm-hmm. at 18, mm-hmm. 17, yeah, early. to eat better mm-hmm. than we did, mm-hmm. to train better than we did, yep. we did a great deed. And I'm not I don't yep. want to tra- get these kids to the NFL or NBA level or whatever to fucking benefit from them. Yeah. No, I really no. want the culture for, for to him. change, especially yep. in Germany, yeah. to notice, hey, look, sports working out, eating good, it's not only something cool, it's, mm-hmm. it's something really important. It's a way of life. It's yeah. a way of life, it's really important. Because we're always talking about depressions, we're always talking about all that stuff, and we're not taking care of our bodies. That's what it is. It's of course, you you have, the, there's always going to be something wrong with mm-hmm. your car when you mm-hmm. put the wrong oil in it, when yeah. you put the wrong, yeah. if you always fucking hit the gas pedal, to the max, yeah. it's always gonna, and that's how our bodies are too. And yeah. we don't, we don't worship our bodies the way we worship our rings, right? Yeah, Clean sure. them, yeah. our watches, our cars, our yeah. houses. You know, like, yeah. and that's the whole problem. That's what we're trying to change: change. the culture yeah. of thinking. Period. Yeah. Worldwide, basically. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. and um, back to uh, football and how like dangerous football is. Just for like, because I feel like when people watch this. They're super mo- going to be super motivated. Hey, I want to play football. But I also yeah. always want to know because my son wants to play football. Yeah. And I'm not going to let him play football. Mm, you know? nah, I'm going to let him so, I'm yeah. gonna let him play basketball. Because yeah. I, okay. I haven't watched what? a movie with Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. crazy. 
Yeah, nah, for real. My nah. boy out there gonna be busting heads. <laughs> Y'all is crazy. <laughs> My boy's gonna be too big. <laughs> oh, that's the part. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna hurt him. He's gonna be hurting other people. <laughs> he going for his ankles though, you know that? He gonna be a seven foot wide oh receiver. My goodness. <laughs> oh also guy, they're gonna go for his ankles. <laughs> his son is gonna be playing football. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, he's gonna see what his dad did and he, his son is gonna no, want to play. No, I know I asked, asked him in the bathroom the other day. He told me like I wanna do I wanna do it like that. I'm like, yeah, I don't it, know. My, then, my, then no, you know my thing is health. You, my sure. thing is health yeah. and longevity. Yeah. So you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like to me, if I think about just the mental stuff I'm going through sometimes, and I know when I watch like certain documents or documentaries, I haven't watched a film with Will Smith, but mm -hmm. I've watched yeah. enough that scared that. the living crap out of me. Why I understood why Calvin Johnson or a lot of elite guys yeah. are stuck. There was this. Stop I don't know if you yeah. remember this uh, linebacker. He played two years. For San Francisco, Patrick, no, not Patrick Willis, uh, uh, a white no. boy. God, who was that? He played one or two. Years. He was a Pro Bowler in two. Years. They said he like he was supposed to be Luke Kuechly before Luke Kuechly. Like this oh, yeah? is the time where he came out and he okay. stopped. This was when Patrick Willis stopped and he came after Patrick Willis. That's what I'm trying to think of who it is. Oh, I don't remember his name. And Patrick Willis did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because they all found out how yeah. Yeah. health. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's yeah, yeah, Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, yeah. They checked his brain. They said. His, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and 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 I feel that so I'm a D liner, so mm. sometimes yeah. I have anger issues. I that's yeah. why, like you know, I work out as much as I can because yeah. I'm trying to be the most positive person in the world, mm. and I'm not trying to let my demons come over me. But yeah. I noticed that football did do something with me mm. if I read the stuff. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I'm always like, I always tell kids like, you want to play football, then do it the right way. Yeah. You know, train the right way, eat the right way, and know the pro and the conscious know the yeah. good and the bad yeah. about everything you know because yeah. football is great i love it. it's my favorite sports ever yeah. you know but like i said i love my son and i don't want him to go because my hand look at my hands bro like yeah, yeah, my yeah, fingers yeah. are broken yeah. my wrist is broken my elbow is torn up you know like mm -hmm. there's certain things that i can't do normally now yeah. like you know no push-ups you always see me do push-ups with my fists yeah. i can't i can't stretch my hands out like yeah that. It's impossible. Damn. Yeah. That's D line shit yeah. right there. You know what I'm saying? No, that's, that's, a dirty, that's dirty work, though. Yes. Being up front, that's dirty yes. work, though. So, yes. so I understand that. I understand yeah. that part. I mean, shit. I want, and with the day things are going, like, I wouldn't mind seeing my son, 7 2 quarterback, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> they not getting touched, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but they cleaning the game up. So. Yeah, they cleaning the game up. Yeah. Real yeah. talk. So, I like that. But I, I, I prefer basketball for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. You know the game. You know that. You know basketball. I'm so a that's, basketball player yeah, by heart. Yeah. You know, I, I, I love football, yeah, but like I played basketball since I was 13. Yeah, yeah I was so. soccer yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. I mean, from me too. So do you like soccer, though? Do you like soccer? Yeah, you know it. it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So you that's what your son can play then. Your yeah. son, it's another, but me. But he wants to do like daddy. You know, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but soccer is more it's safe. You know, yep. soccer is yeah. a safe, yeah. safe sport. You know, you have a longer career in soccer, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Yeah. Um and you know the sport, so you can go out with your son any day and yeah. go train with him. Yeah. And then so. in football, if you change position, you're playing you're playing different sports. Because as a receiver, there's some way. If you if you look at Ty Hilton, the receiver of the of the Colts, mm -hmm. he never gets hit. Yeah, for he sure. He knows how to protect himself. I mean, if you play another position, not in D line, you can't avoid like you can't help avoid D line. Yeah, that's why I said it's, it's, it's hard up there. But as a receiver, you can. As a yeah. DB, you, you can, can avoid and, getting hurt. No, as well but too, also so. you learn. Like I feel like you, what you just said, you there's that's what I'm saying. You have learned learn football the right way. Yeah. I've learned too. I used to just put my head in yeah. everything. Yeah, like, every, all the, now I'm using my hands, yeah. my hips, mm -hmm. my Technique, power. Yeah. Boom. Look at Aaron, look, look at Aaron Donald. It does, yeah. He doesn't have too much resin. contact. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, he's yeah. not knocking his head yeah. down mm -hmm. every time. He's yeah. fucking moving yeah. and getting off the ball. Yes. And, yes. You know? Yeah. Yep. I learned when I started playing football, I used to smash heads. I used to think yeah, that's a normal sure. thing to do. Yes. Now some games, I'm like so fresh. I wasn't even touched. Yes. The only thing that hurt myself is me knocking someone to the fucking ground. Yeah. Yeah. You know but I'm saying? glad they cleaned that up because when I was young, that was our goal was to make head-to-head -head contact. Exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's that's hurt the, people. Yeah, it's to hurt people. Yeah, so hurt I'm glad people. they made that rule. Yeah. Now we can't leave with our head exactly. on. We'll get yeah. thrown out. So yeah. that's good. That's why I say I'm glad they changed the game because yeah. that was my goal was yeah. to like hit you in the head. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't change the game that much because yeah. you can still hit people. You know what I'm but saying? But now you're gone. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. But now you're gone if you hit head-to-head, though. But, you know. Body, yeah. body to the to the you know head to the body or something is yeah. cool. You gonna hurt yourself, yeah. but I mean, 
you won't get thrown out the game or penalized or fined for mm -hmm. it. But, um, yeah, they clean it up a lot. So we can't hit receivers like we used to. But yeah. it's good. It's good. It's making it safer. I hated it at first, but – People are really dying. No, no, no. Yeah. That's what I have to say, too. I hated the rule changes. I yeah, got me so too. Mad. I did hate me it. Me too. I was like, what did that do? Because I grew up, like, I'm an 80s baby. So I grew up watching Troy Aikman, all mm -hmm. those guys, like, mm -hmm. dominate. Like, I was always a Steelers fan since I was six, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember Neil O'Donnell, mm -hmm. John Bettis, yeah, Greg Foster, sure. Greg Lloyd, Kevin mm -hmm. Green. Yeah. Like, those were the guys I grew up with. So that was a hard football era right there, mm -hmm. you know? And... I was mad at first, but when I inside found out and I noticed on my own body how damaging certain things are, mm -hmm. like I said all even in, in all sports like boxing, do you have sparring? It's unnecessary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, I, I I do. I've I've done a lot of sparring yeah. too. You know, like I have guys that are boxers, so I train. Your body the, feel like that after a football game? A spar after, after sparring, you have headaches. You know, like if you're going at it, you know, like if you're going eight round, nine round, sp ten round sparrings. Yeah. You're, you know, you're, 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 your head is spinning. Like, you get a lot of context. So, like, is that so necessary? I've, I've seen, like, on, on Jerome, like, him talk about sparring where he's, like, they, certain things just have to change. They're too old school, yeah. you know? Like, we have to change certain things. Like, yeah. there's certain fighters that say if they could go back, they would have never sparred because the fight, fighting every three months is already – Mm -hmm. rough enough for your yeah. brain mm -hmm. for everything you understand that's how football I feel like even practice has to change yeah. more if yeah. we really want to you know like yeah. some I, I was off, in Juco yeah. Juco <sighs> Practice was physical. Oh, yeah, in college and high school, it was physical. Wide receivers just get knocked off their feet. <laughs> That's when I came to GFL in 2010. Yeah. Like, I only went, I only had two semesters of Arizona Western, then I got arrested, did my time in prison in Arizona, Eloy and, and in Yuma, got deported to Germany. Patrick Azuma was like, hey, you want to play football <coughs> for the Cuba Baltic the Hurricanes? And that's when I really started playing football. So at, when I started, like, I didn't understand why f practice wasn't as physical. Because, mm -hmm. like, I saw it there. It was just a mm -hmm. whole – people were trying to kill each other. Yeah, yeah. People yeah, were trying yeah. to get your job. Like, yeah. people were trying to get your scholarship, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel like that has to – like, I feel like if we're going to take so much damage by playing fucking 16 to 22 games mm -hmm. a year, you should, like – at least balance it out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's important also for the whole young German football teams because they started, they, they, they're they doing peewee football now in Germany. Yeah. You know that, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I, like, uh, the foot, I, when I came to Germany, you couldn't play pads with 12, 13. That oh, that's should, what that I started changed. with. So, yeah. yeah. My peewee was when I ran home that day, We was they was playing padded football, yeah. helmet, pads, yeah. yeah, everything. And that should not be allowed, though. <laughs> You're right, because I was seeing stars at that age. No, that should be not, no. That's seeing where stars, it starts. Yeah, that's sure. where it starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the damage. My brain was already taking that hit for yeah, sure. That so. a lot of footballers just die with fifty, yeah. go to prison. They just mentally mm -hmm. fucked up. And I guess my I would say my diet or something kind of saved me, or I don't know what it yeah. was, but I used to, yeah, for sure, see stars yeah, every you game. You saw that? And you saw that safety the other day who just killed the yeah, whole family. Yeah, yeah. I it's, mean, it's good. Yeah. And, yeah. and you own you never hear that from the NBA. You mm -hmm. never hear that from soccer players. No, you don't. You're right. We real talk. Like yeah. look at all like mm -hmm. go do the research and look how many footballs are mentally unstable. Yeah. And are more like in prison for murders and like just weird shit where yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the fuck happened. Like, I watched that movie with Will Smith, so I didn't watch it because yeah, I, I wanted to play too. football. Yeah. I felt like if I was gonna watch crazy. it, I was gonna play because the D line. Yeah, no, yeah, for like, sure. Like I feel headaches. Like some like I have video of where I'm, I'm. It's the end zone. I'm like I beat my guy oh, yeah, like always. Just, and <laughs> I'm going for the sack, and the quarterback just dips back, and me and, this, uh, me and my other DM we just knock head to head, mm -hmm. top to top, and you just see me laying flat on the ground, and my teammate standing over me. I got up. Shook it off and just played the next play. Yeah, It'd and I like was that. knocked the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I've, had, I've been knocked out a couple yeah. times for sure. It happens. Yeah. And then I know you guys probably had this before. Is it's probably a concussion, but some games where I knocked my head really hard, I would have a whole week of where I would like, I would feel so bad, dizzy. Mm -hmm. I would throw up. Headaches. Headaches. I like. I couldn't. The first two, three days, I couldn't See, think. I'm lucky enough on that. Bad. Yeah. Oh I've yeah. That See, I've. 
This your safety, like I put you probably. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've had it before. Cause yeah, you throw your sure. body in there, mm-hmm. type play you are. I used to be head first. Yeah, that's me too. Uh, so facts, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So I've had that a couple times where I'm like, yeah. the whole week in practice, I would just practice, and every every mm-hmm. contact would just hurt me. You know, yeah. You're a DB, so you didn't have to. But yeah, yeah, every no. contact, every every play, every every down was yes. something for you. For yes. Me, I backpedal and didn't see anybody for the whole mm-hmm. play. Mm-hmm. But you, it's every yeah, freaking play. play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? O line, D line is different. Every that's play, a different bro. Sport. Yeah, yeah, it's a different yeah. sport. That's, I feel sorry for D line and O line. <laughs> like, yeah, that's why I fucking hate. Like, that's why, I, like, not hate the GFL. I like, I love the GFL. But yeah, I understand. They, I, that's why I don't like the GFL because like, I feel like O line and D line, man. Aren't getting no respect in, the, in no, nothing at all. Never. Yeah. You, all you see better. is quarterback and receivers yeah. and running backs. That's all you see That's how it in the always highlights. Is, always. Like, I've had games where I had two, three sacks, and, and the GFL would not even fucking put mm-hmm. a highlight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not nothing. Or I had Nick Vilan. I had certain left tackles on our team, right yeah. tackles, the linemen that were dominating people, yeah, yeah, yeah. pancaking people. Mm-hmm. Put that on the fucking tape. So yeah. that was the problem, you know? though. Like, put that on the tape. That's problem, that was the problem with GFL. They That was my problem when I first got out here. Like, my parents couldn't see, my family couldn't see only but two games. Like, Dresden and New Yorker were the only team yeah. streaming their games. Yeah. Like, I'm like, dude, yes. can we get a TV mark? Like, you don't, you, you got exactly. a whole league, you can't get no TV sponsors? Yeah. or shout out, to, shout out to Patrick Azuma because the, the, the way – He's setting up this league mm-hmm. so good, you know, and like I've played with him, you know, like yeah, and um, I just fuck like I like that someone that's from our, my back, or like our background, because yeah. I know where he grew up at. Yeah, just as a black man in German TV right now, to like he stands for a lot, especially. Let me just say this as for us light half, half breeds, you know, yeah. because <laughs> yeah, for we've sure. had hard times too. Like our when we went to African parties. All our uncles and shit were like, uh, you know, that's the light skinned niggas. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Take care of his dad, mm-hmm. fuck with the devil, you know, like shit like that. Oh, yeah? yeah, of course. And then, oh. but at the same time, we're still ca- getting called nigger by white people mm-hmm. in yeah. kindergarten yeah. and school, you know? Yeah, so it was just sure. like, you never felt like, you know, if I go to Ghana, they say, Bruni Coco. You know, white man turn a red in the sun. That's, you know, <laughs> like they, 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 it's just white people. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we're still getting harassed by the police and yeah, shot yeah, up yeah, the yeah, same yeah, way yeah, yeah. anybody else is getting shot mm-hmm. up. So um, for Patrick to be like um, at the position where he is and now he's building this league is super big yes. for football in Germany because like he's going to open the eyes of how good football really is. Yeah. I mean, GFL just wasted so many careers. Yeah. yeah. So many careers. It's about not broadcasting. Yes, not yeah, broadcasting. Yeah. Just sticking to a fucking so little many circle. Plays, I got like, yeah. forget it. I mean, yeah. like, like I said, like for I can't me, even pull up my plays. For me to get a job from another team in the GFL, impossible. Yeah, like never got. Like you said, never got yeah. respect yeah. from nobody because nobody fucking knows about you. Only the players is the one that yeah. feared feared yeah. me mm-hmm. or knew me. You know, or yeah. were like, yeah, that dude, watch because you have to watch tape. Yeah, yeah. that's it though. And if you don't look at football correctly, then there's a lot yeah. that you don't see. You don't see. And, and I hope that with that league, it will be like more like in the NFL, and you know you have an analyst, and then yes. they, they look at it and be like, yes. oh, maybe you didn't see that, but like look at that play. Exactly. That happens because and of that. not only because the guy's all tatted or he's coming like this or he talks like this, yeah. he's a troll. Like I've heard about Jamal, like, hey, great player, but he's just – yeah. Wow, he's just out of control. Yeah. But but you got to go like, into that on the no, field. No, no, huh? Yeah. Said so I got to go into that on the field though. Yeah. You know. No, no, but that's crazy. what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. how do you how do you know? I, I've got to know this guy. This guy has yeah. dogs. He goes fucking takes walks. Yeah. Takes trips to South Africa. He's oh, yeah. just such a humble person. Mm-hmm. And the things I've heard about him is yeah. the opposite because yeah. the people, people saw his they tattoos. Just, they saw his mentality on yeah. the field. Yeah. They'll yeah. say about Anthony Devil, he's cocky. He's a little French cocky motherfucker because he, you know, because you have that swagger, but mm-hmm. they don't know you're a humble family guy. You, you know, you don't fuck around. You're, no. you're all about family. You're, yeah. You know, I, and, straight guy. And I've never met him. This is my first time actually yeah. meeting him in yeah. person. And, I'm, and I'm he, getting a goosebumps about you talking about that. This dude is cool. Like, cool. Yeah. And yeah. I've heard you people do. say he's cocky. And, he's cocky. And that's I've what I've heard. So that's crazy. Times. And I'm like, and oh, I'm like I'm a name drop. And think about the bad things you guys heard about me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, definitely. So it's like, that's what I always hated about the GFL. Mm-hmm. It was like, you don't get to know people, bro. Bro, no, yeah, no. Yeah, you, don't get to, you don't get to characters. listen to interviews. It's characters. Yeah. That's what. Don't analyze someone based off the way you think he is. Yeah. yeah. 
Let, or just the way you see him on yes, the field. Yeah. So if he's more. a good football player, Thanks. if he's a good teammate, let him be the way he is. That's mm-hmm. what I like about the NFL. Yeah. Everyone has their own Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. If he was just in the GFL, the, the, he would get they so would hate no, him. They would hate yeah. him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not knowing who Marshall Lynch is, just mm-hmm. the way he carried himself. Ghetto, he's hood. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Uh, he's actually yeah. giving back he's to the community. The game, yeah. You know, like, but he's with the kids, and that's what that's what my time in Q were. Everybody in Q knows this. Yep. After every game, I wouldn't drink a beer. I wouldn't eat a hot dog. I would, with my pads, take yeah. my pads off, go take 10, 15 kids, and we'd play seven on seven. I'd be a quarterback for both sides every game for years. You know, and still anywhere I went, even my or- own organization. It was just so much negativity about me, you mm-hmm. know, because they just see you, the way you look, the way okay. you know, and that's what I and I I hope the ELF is going to change that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I hope that, that vision, certain yeah. characters don't just get yeah. pushed out of the give people a platform, yeah, keep yeah, out. Speak for them. I was in Q. I was in Q. We took team pictures. There's I show you. There's some team pictures where I was just not in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> They had like a they crazy. banner for That's my crazy. face because I had tattoos on my face and stuff, you know. Like, so it's like I, I I think I got one GFL interview since 2010. Yeah, bro. And how many games did I have where I had three sacks? Bro, I had I had like sacks? two interviews as well. Like, yeah, I've never I've never you've gotten been here for five years. Yes, now, you know. So never got an interview, probably like twice. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So because they and that's what I'm us play, we know I good you. I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I've never. That's why I came back. I've never tripped about that. And that's why I like. The whole concept of the ELF Mm -hmm. is just because you have um, a platform that fairly gives players to just shine and let everyone else decide Mm -hmm. he's a baller and not let other coaches or whatever talk you down and say, this guy. Has a bad character. He did this and he did that. Oh, he was in prison. You know, it's a whole new opportunity for everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone starts with a clean sheet. You can market yourself. You have a big platform. People and especially, like I said, I'm yeah. so happy for the young players. Yeah, about the CLF thing for the young yeah. players. We're we're all old, man. You, how old are you? Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Damn, I 30 thought you were twenty two. Thirty. I thought you were twenty two. <laughs> the way I move. Yeah. Right? No. See, I thought you were twenty six, <laughs> but um, not because of the way you move. Just, you know. <laughs> I just fuck with you. Now, nah, but um, for the young kids that are like eighteen, nineteen, or yeah. even going to college right now, yeah, and just good. don't make it to the NFL. Yeah. This is a big opportunity. Big opportunity. Because it's tough. I mean, how many leagues you get? You get the, you either go to the NFL. If you don't do it, then you go to the CFL. If not, you go to the X League, and then it's GFL. And then that's it. Yeah. Like, where are you and, going to play that's going to be a good league? And the GFL mm-hmm. was a strong league, like, on some real shit. Just yeah, from yeah, yeah. players, certain players that I've seen there, where I was like, we had Tiadri, yeah. we had you guys, we had me, we had a lot of uh, KC. 2016 was <sighs> tough. I That's so year, sad yeah. that Casey and the Brown Strike Lions basically had that run, mm-hmm. and it's just known in GFL circles. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, Think bro. about that. Yeah. yeah, some of the dominant, most dominant football we've seen yeah, in Europe. Yeah. You know, yes, like real talk. At no, a high level, I not even hearing about Coach Tomlin and fucking Brown Strike. Yeah. Great job. He yeah. built a fucking dynasty. Mm-hmm. Yes, and no one outside of this whole thing knows about if he was an ELF that's coach what, and this the whole concept would have been running for years, he'd be big time. Big, big time. He'd probably right get now. a job somewhere. Bigger. He'd probably be in Pro Z wherever, yeah, exactly. talking to people. Like mm-hmm. these guys would all be somewhere else right mm-hmm. now. I'm yeah. not saying he's not in a great position. Mm-hmm. He's but um I respect him. I don't know myself, but I, the things he built, I just yeah, see like it's like fucking, I like it what he running it's just there. sad to me that it's not bigger than it, like, you know, that the mm-hmm. German league the German yeah. football league, let it be. Because, like I said, we we had like right now we have so much in our hands. Like we can, yeah. like I said, we're me and him are we're gonna do camps in the summer. I hope you're gonna be a part of that oh, too, yeah. as to. a wide to. receivers coach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're not doing this for profit. We're really no. doing this to get all the kids out, especially the ta- kids that have the talent, and then connect yeah. them to guys like Bjorn Vanner, yeah. Yeah. whatever that are already doing that and mm-hmm. sending mm-hmm. kids over to college. Mm-hmm. I don't want to send nobody to college. Yeah, that's hard work. Yeah. That's what respect, social media is for. Respect though. to Bjorn, real talk for what he's doing yeah because i know by talking to him that he's not doing it for profit yeah he's really doing it because he wants to change something so Mm -hmm. like i we want to do athletic camps for all sports we want to do football camps we want to do position camps Mm -hmm. d-line o-line wide receiver dbs Mm -hmm. like all that stuff you know and just teach the kids you know and just make them better and 
give them knowledge, the yeah. knowledge that What's they about? need to know to survive like in early, this world. Yes, early, exactly. Early. Yeah. Imagine you would have had someone like me or him when you were 15, 16, yeah. just being like, yo, right. A, you're talented. Come here. Yeah. Work out with us. Come work out with us. We'll, we'll show you. Do, yeah. yeah. Look, this is how you eat. This is how you do that. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Because when I, when I started to play football, I was 19. I was 1 meter 88. So it's 6'2". And, and you were probably dunking the ball easy. I was dunking already, but I was 70 kilos. Yeah. I'm close to 100. Yeah. But it took me time. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody told me, like, yeah, you have to do this, you have to do that. Like, you have, I, I, was, I was lucky enough to have friends, like, that went to the gym and be like, yeah, come with me and do this and do exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, if you and, wouldn't have had them, you would not know nothing no. about no gym. And I got also, a question. if you don't have no money, then. Yeah. Then, where'd, you, where'd you learn how to run, though? Where, did you run track or no. what'd you do? Nothing. No. Got a nice yeah. little stride. That's what I'm saying. Like the, fir the first time I learned how to run, that was 2018. Damn. Was Where did you run in the 40? Have I, you ever ran the 40? Uh, yeah, because I did the um, uh, NFL um, veteran combine, and that was four four five seven laser. And okay. I was 28. Yeah. And, yes. And, and that was after. With I no came. with that's no good. running mechanics. Two, yeah, two, with two, no thir training. 225. Six yeah, bro. Right. No that's track great. background. That's good. Yeah. But it looks different on the field, though. Yeah. Strides, he's, yeah, very fast, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's, so that's why I asked you. Yeah, for and if they you would have had like here. a Zomber that would have trained with you, you'd probably be a 4-3, yeah. low 4-4. Four, four. I think so. I think yeah, so. Yeah. Really yeah. Think so. yeah. Shit, yeah. So yeah. you get in the gym, you eat right, and you have the right technique. And you it's just technique. The time. Yeah. Technique, that's it's, how it is. It's yeah, the, the means, the technique, like the knowledge. Right, if you give right. that to somebody younger, like, it can explode. It just depends, like, when do you give that to somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so important. That's what I'm saying. We have it's us right now, especially every every veteran football player that yeah. has knowledge about something. Every veteran mm -hmm. basketball, soccer player, whatever. It's so important that we give the knowledge back. Yeah, give it downwards and really target our time. Just everyone, just get you one fucking kid mm -hmm. in your area yeah. and mentor him. Yep, mm -hmm. I mean, just one. Yeah, just Look mm -hmm. around. It doesn't have to be the most talented. Take that kid that's the untalented yeah. kid that's getting teased by everybody. Take the little fat boy. Mm -hmm. You know, like, just take, like, it's so important for us because the youth is our future. And the way the world is going right now, it's going down. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. It's going down on people. I mean, look at, I mean, we're in the highest rates of rape, rapes. You know how I many women are getting raped? Yeah. Every day in Germany, yes. I think, like, I've had a lot, a lot of yeah. suicides I think every in my past. minute or yeah. every year. Yeah, it's like three people I've known committed suicide in the so, past two years. What, what, what sure. How does that happen, though? You know, how does it happen that men are feasting on women? Because That's bad. Yeah, because it gets... It's it's from comes from generation to generation not respecting women and that's what I'm saying certain things right now we change you have two sons yeah. so your sons are not going to be rapists they're going to respect women right yes yeah for sure my son started too. by their mom exactly so that's mm -hmm. where it starts and it's just all up to us mm -hmm. whether it's football basketball athletic stuff yeah. eating wise how to you know it's we mm -hmm. give back to youth and we have yeah, to start. Sure looking at certain things and being like, yo, I need to take my little time and mentor this kid. Yeah, you know, I yeah. think everyone should yeah. have a kid. I have, I, have, I have a kid who's 15 now. Um, I met him when he was 13. He's a foster kid, and I've been mentoring since then. You know, like, I, mm -hmm. we write, we play Fortnite, we meet, we mm -hmm. train together, so, you know, and I've been doing that. I don't post that shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Like, I'm saying it here now, but I don't – because I feel like everybody should do that, you know. Yeah, for sure. We can change things. This guy's a foster kid. I was in a foster home type Same. era when I was sixteen. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know what that did to me. I went to prison twice. You know what I'm saying? So, me knowing that he can call his uncle anytime and yeah. just be like, "Yo," it yeah, makes a different. Somebody, yeah. I didn't have that person. Yeah. So yeah. we have to really like think about what we at our age, we're the, we're that generation right now. That's gonna have effect. On the next generation, yeah. yeah. Like, and for me, that that person that was football because I didn't grow up with my dad. Yeah. So for me same too, here, same sports, here. I didn't yeah. grow up with my dad. Yeah. yeah. And, f and you had the team. You had you know like we had the, the coaches. You looked like, up to the coaches. Yeah. yeah. And oh, 
because you had coaches. Like we talking about football in Europe. Yeah, right? so like, I'm coaches saying it's are different. Like different you know? Well, coaches ours too. Our amazing. younger, our younger coaches, pee wee coaches, they were just looking for the chick. They yeah. they were good yeah. guys, but now I see the pee wee coaches that's out there now. They really working with those kids yeah. now. But they back in the to, day, that's, that's the thing. I feel like, like that's that. some get change out in Germany and whatever country. If you're here for the paycheck <laughs> and you're doing youth work, fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. yes, sure. you have to make your money if it's a full time job. But please. First of all, something. know something about what you're doing. Yeah. Don't just put someone there because, hey, they're six-year-olds. What yeah. do they need to learn? They need how to, you know, know like, yeah. don't do yeah. that. You're mm-hmm. hurting the kids. Like, bring people in that really know what they're doing. You understand? I don't, like, I sometimes don't understand why, even in the GFL, you should always take former players. Like, you know, I feel like you and you, you should, guys should be head coaches at some point. At some point. Yeah, that's why I stay for sure. Because yeah. you guys are just, I mean, if we're just talking football-wise, but just also learning-wise and knowing football, you two guys that potentially should be head coaches someday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. If it's on a you. tells that to me. <laughs> yeah. That's important. Real talk. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys in the you next generation, it. especially as black males in mm-hmm. Germany, mm-hmm. I that'd be super interesting. Be, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, you know, like mm-hmm. respect, like it's like we, like I was said, we have so much that we can change, especially with the social media, mm-hmm. all the yeah, platforms yeah. that we have. Like we, so many people are watching us yeah. now, and, and 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 they can learn from us. That's why I tell you, get on your Instagram game. The shit you're doing is fucking amazing, and whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. I can't see it on your Instagram. So just work out. Yeah. Get there's kids watching you right yeah. now. They yeah. want to know how you're working out. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That that's already the first thing you can do to really help somebody. Because yeah. I get messages every day. I told the other guys, uh, um, in my last podcast, I told them, hey, I have this. 14 year old, 13, like this kid who's been following me since he's been 13, he's 16 now. I turned him to a man child. He was a fat little kid getting mobbed. And he's been, I've been writing, I'm taking my time writing with him for three years now. Yeah. I have like fucking 100, 200 pictures before and after pictures from young kids, 18 year olds, 19 year olds that were fat or were skinny and just turned to beast by doing the things I've been telling awesome, them to yeah. do. You understand? Okay. So it's like you doing your little drills, you doing your little, have someone film you. You know, yeah. you have a lot of followers. I know your shit got hacked, yeah. but yo, know, it doesn't matter. People watching you, people watching you, mm-hmm. who watching me. That's why my story's off today. But on those days, I feel the pressure. People are already writing me. Coach, what's mm-hmm. wrong? Yeah, I need motivation. Yeah, you know, like, and it's so important that we, like I said, that's the f- we have the platform right now. We can change a lot of stuff. Yeah. We can show, hey, show how you eat sometimes. Show how you train. Let the people know you're mental because mm-hmm. you guys are the guys that the young guys are watching yeah, us right now. For sure. Hey guys, it was good having you guys. Um, thank you for having re- us. Thank you for having us for sure. Really good stuff. Hey guys, follow their Instagrams. You can see their Instagrams on the bottom. Um, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad we got together yeah. and um, I hope we get another opportunity to get another couple podcasts because I feel like we still have so much to say and oh, so yeah. much to give back to the Definitely. youth because. Yep. And I'm excited for the future projects that we're going to have here in Germany and Europe, period. And nice to have you guys. Hopefully, we'll be on the same team, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope, man. Appreciate it. Nice I'll to let you my guys. salary go to, to get this guy. NNG Podcast. Go! Yo, Energy Gang, keine Überraschung. Am 28.06. haben wir hier auf der Adler Facility ein Camp. Das Ganze heißt Energy Top 11 für Footballer und natürlich für alle anderen Sportarten. Es geht um Ernährung, Athletik. Wie bereitet ihr euch vor? Wie bereiten sich Profis vor? Wie werde ich ein Profi? Mein Partner Jamal White und mein Partner Kevin Sid werden das Ganze mit mir leiten. What you gotta say? Be these, man. Be ready. It's no fly zone. We're gonna learn a lot. We're gonna learn a lot of techniques. You're gonna learn some new stuff, man. So be ready. Wie gesagt, das Ganze geht am Montag, den 28. los. Von 10 bis 17 Uhr wollen wir euch hier haben. Kommt alle ran. Energy Top 11 freut sich ganz euch. Ja. Ja.